you are saving for a new house and you put $20,000 per year in an account paying 9%. The first payment is made today. How much will you have at the end of 4 years? The payment is made today and so the next payment will be made at the beginning of year 1 and the following payment you will begin at the beginning of year 2 and so on. And so given that the payments are made at the beginning of each period, this is an annuity due. In order to solve for the annuity due, we need to set the financial calculator to begin mode. And uh, so, and, and to do so, you basically hit second, PMT, second, enter. Once you clear your work, you'll see that you, there is a, uh, there's BGN on top of the numbers uh, that show up on the calculator. And that means that the uh, calculator is set to begin mode. Once that is, uh, that is done, then we are ready to input our information. And I have here the payment is $20,000. And given that this is a cash outflow, uh, we, uh, we have it as a negative number. The I over Y or the interest rate is 9%, so it equals 9. N is how many years we are investing, and so N equals to 4. And so uh, now that the uh, calculator is ready, we will just input the, the, the numbers. Uh, it's always a very good practice to clear all your work. So second, FV, to clear the time value of money calculations you've done before. Second, CEC, to clear all your work. So negative 20,000 is the PMT, so we hit the PMT button. 9 is the interest rate, so we hit the I over Y button. 4 is the number of years we are investing, so we hit the N button. And now we compute for the future value. And uh, we can see that the future value of this annuity is $99,694.21. In order, now that you're done with calculating the annuity due, uh, you may need to uh, reset the calculator to uh, end mode. And to do so, you need to hit second PMT, second enter. And if we clear uh, everything, you see that we have the uh, zero right there, but that uh, begin or BGN uh, has disappeared. This means that the calculator is set to end mode. So whenever you enter uh, any time value of money calculations in the future, it will assume that the payments are done at the beginning of the uh, of the period and um, at the end of the period uh, and not at the beginning of the period.